So we are going to wait. We're gonna wait for the rest of the class, I think. Right. And um, hello, Milagro. How are you? Hello, Milagros, can you hear me? You cannot hear me. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can, Mister. Okay. I can hear you, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how are you? Um, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay, very good, excellent. So working again? Yeah, working again. <laughs> oh, okay. So, what what do you do? I'm a um, customer officer. Ah, Custom okay. officer. Mm. Ah, okay. So, uh, by telephone or, or? No, I work in in Amatillo's board there. Ah, ah, ah really? Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Okay. So, so um, you have many things to do. Yeah, a lot of things. Mm. Okay. Okay, so that's nice. Very good. Okay, so um something you hello, uh, something you remember about yesterday's class. Anything, it could be a word. <laughs> um, it could be a vocabulary sentences, something you remember about yesterday's. Mm -hmm. Um, we were talking about movies. Ah, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. we were talking about movies, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, very good. Thank you. Uh, hello, Juan David. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Uh, I am... How do you cansado? Tired. Tired. Tired, yeah. Hi. Okay. Just, Sorry to hear that. Uh, but thanks God it's Friday. It's Friday. It's Thursday. <laughs> yes. It's Friday. Yes, but I, but but uh, the the tomorrow I I I have the free day. Time. Okay, a, a day off. But, day yes, off. Day off. But uh, I I have um the made all all the the things I can uh, hmm? I don't uh, um can a uh, made in in the week. Ah okay, so in the week, right? During the week. In the week, yeah. Okay. Is is the problem? In in this case, I don't I don't rest. I never. It's, oh, really? It's, yes. Uh, um, in my, in my case, in my case, uh, I I I I write it, writing uh, the histories and um, and news uh, in 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 internet in, in YouTube. Ah, ah yes. okay. It's what in you the channel, in, it's, yes, in the channel, in the channel, uh, Prensa Alternativa. Okay, alternative, alternative Prensa in like press, your, like. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, interesting. Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, but tired, right? Yeah. Definitely tired. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much. And hello, Stephanie Quintanilla. How are you today? How's everything? How's it going? Hi, mister. Hi. Hello, how are you? <laughs> uh -huh. um, uh, what do you remember about yesterday class? Uh, what do you, something you remember about yesterday? ¿Qué recuerdas de la clase de Yesterday about... Hmm? Wow. Um... Wow, about what? Sorry, I can I can I can hear you. 
Very well. Casi, casi, le escucho suavecito. Okay, so, ajá, uh -huh. what you remember about yesterday? Algo que recuerde de la clase de ayer antes de empezar. Who, that, which. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, ajá, uh -huh. who, that, which. Excellent. Those relative are... Relative clauses. Relative clauses, right? Relative clauses. Very good. Relative clauses. Uh, yes, thank you so much. Okay. Okay, so, uh, okay, we're going to continue. Hello, Mirna Yanet. I need to say hello, the greeting and the welcome, right? <laughs> How are you, Mirna Yanet? Everything good? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, uh, Mirna. Okay. How are uh, you? Very well. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Uh, okay. So, um, okay, that's nice. Uh, how was your day? Everything good? Todo bien? Todo bien, yes. teacher. Okay, so that's nice. Perfect. Excellent. Very good. Okay, and Sandra Elizabeth, how's everything? How's it going? ¿Cómo le va? Hello? How are you, Sandra Elizabeth? Hello. Are you available to talk at work, driving? Okay, you are shy. You are shy today. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to start as as you saw in the WhatsApp group. I sent some pictures about about simple pass because before to start the class, some minutes before to start, I want uh, you to recognize the ED uh, pronunciation. Okay, so in order to reinforce your uh, knowledge, right? Okay, Norma is talking, right? Norma is sending a message. So just give me answering her. Okay, here good we go. evening. Uh, hello, Jose Alejandro. How are you? I'm good, teacher. Everything I'm ready. Good. Okay, ready. Okay, we're gonna start because if now we are not gonna finish with all the things that I have. Okay, okay I, I'm going to start with um the colors. Actually, the colors. I'm going to start with the colors. Just let me to share the screen about the PDF. Pero solo que no veo el... Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm recording, right? Yes. Okay, sharing. Share the screen. And let's see where is the PDF. Oh, here we go. Now, here we have uh, the psychology of color, the psychology of color. According to research, color have a powerful effect on us. Take the test and then see if your answers are confirmed by the research. You may be surprised. Check your answers below. Okay, this one, the, so you're going to write it down about, um, this is like an evaluation, like a, like a survey. It's like a survey, right? What color is the most attention getting for you? Black, yellow, or red? Black. Black. Yeah. Or if you have another one, so you can write it down. You have to write it down in your in your notebook. You have to write it down in your notebook, right? Okay. So what color is most likely to uh -huh. make? Uh, sí. What color is most uh, likely to make people feel angry? Angry, right? Angry, you know, not happy, angry. Black, yellow, pink, or other. So you have to write it down. Okay? So you have to write the color about this. What color is the most attention getting for you? The que más le llama la atención? Black, yellow, red, or other? What color is most likely to make people feel angry? Black, yellow, pink, or other? What color is best for a hospital room? Pink, white, green, or other? What color often makes people feel tired? Green, blue, pink, or other? And what is the least appealing color for food? Black, yellow, blue, or other, right? Okay, so you have to write it down, your answers. You have to write, write it down, your answers in your note. Va a escribir el color que usted crea. El que más le llama la atención, el que lo hace sentir enojado. Eh, the, the, what color, the best color for a hospital room? 
eh, el que lo hace sentir cansado, tired, el que del menos que le llame la atención para la comida, ¿verdad? Ok. So, eh, did you? Did you? Ok, so, what are your color preferences? Look at the colors below. We have a golden, golden brown, pink orange, tomato red, dark blue, white, emerald green, light blue, dark gray. So we have a dark blue and light blue, right? Right, the color you find the most appealing for you about this. Right, the color you will most associate with happiness of this. And right, the color you will most associate with being sad, okay? I'm gonna give you like a, like a 30 seconds to do that, okay? okay? Sandra is sending a message, okay, Sandra. En todo lo que respondo y abro este, las otras eh, cosas aquí, okay? So, you're gonna help me to read, right? Eh, te retengo esto, déjeme buscarlo. And I haven't read uh, the agenda, right? Okay, but después, after this, we're going to read the agenda. Okay, so, can I change, can I change the, okay, for, so, um, you're gonna help me to read. Let's see who, uh, I'm gonna change with this, with the agenda for today. Okay, so we have a, a I don't need, you can read it. Can you read it? The the letter is, is really small, right? Okay, so uh, answers. So you have uh, the answers. Can you help me to read the answer, the first answer, please? David, no sé si me ayuda a leer, David. Uh, the, the letter is very small, teacher. Please, oh. do. Okay, I'm going to larger. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to send the picture to the WhatsApp group about the colors. And, uh, okay. Give me a few seconds. I'm going to understand. Okay, let me see. Okay. It is blurry, right? It's blurry. Okay. Now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, the number one, please. Uh, the number David. one, the uh, expert side red attracts the most attention. Use it red for traffic light and warning light made. They're more no notice um, noticeable. I, I don't I don't say what the pronunciation noticeable. Noticeable. No, noticeable. Noticeable. No, noticeable. Okay. Yes. Noticeable. Noticeable. Okay. So yes. Okay. Uh, the, the red is attracts right. The red the red attracts the most attention. Now the number two. Can you help me to read me Lagro, the number two? Can you see it? Será que se la puede ver? Sure. Um. Studies have shown that being in a yellow room make it more likely for adults to lose their temper and for babies to cry. Yes, okay. Studies have shown that being in a yellow room makes it, makes it more likely for adults to lose their tempers and for babies to cry, like sad, right? Yellow room is equal to sad. And the number three, the green one, can you help me to read, please, uh, Lucia? No sé si Lucia podrá. Si no puede ella, dice José que él puede. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you, José? Number three. Yes, please. Green is the easiest color on the eye, and it causes people to relax. To relax. Painting a hospital room green helps patients get the rest they need. Excellent. Uh -huh. Get the rest they need. Now, in this one, in the number one, number three, do you have any question with vocabulary so far? Any no. Questions? No questions? Everything no. is clear? Yes? Okay, so... Uh, okay, easy. Okay, so you have an expression, green is the easiest, the easiest color on the eye. This is color, right? This is color on the eye. Okay, so this means, el más agradable, verdad? 
El verde es el más agradable para el ojo. Ok, the next one, the number four. Uh, can you help me to read, please? Uh, Margarita Abigail Tobias. Hello, Margaret. No? Okay, Carlos, are you in the meeting? ¿Será que nos ayuda, Carlos? José Carlos. Hello. Yo ahí vi que Juan David levantó la mano, teacher. <laughs> ok. I am, I, I am ok, Mónica Daniela Reyes. Hello, can you help us? Eh, number four. Yes, number four. Research has shown. Research uh, has shown that looking at pink can cause people to feel tired. Some sport teams have painted the dressing room of the opposing team pink to reduce the player's energy. Okay, so pink is, pink is equal to tie, to being tied, right? Can cause people, can cause, cause people to feel tired. Okay, and ¿quién levantó la mano? Ah, okay, Ana Gabriela, no problem. Okay, another volunteer for the number five, please. Volunteer. Me teacher. Okay, can, can you help us to read, please, the number five? Okay. Uh, research in, in marketing help from the use, using blue in the processed foods is you not, you not, no sé cómo. Uh, use Anapelling. An Anapelling. 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 They believe that it is because blue, blue is rare in nature, painting a restaurant. Red, on the other hand, in crisis, the appetite, many restaurants are painting red. Okay, yes. Uh, nature. Repeat that for nature. me. Nature. nature. Okay. Nature. Okay. Nature. Repita. Hand. 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 Casi una e, fíjense. Hand. Hand. Okay. Eh, okay. Increases the appetite. 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 Wrong. Appetite. Okay, okay. So do you have more questions with vocabulary so far? Any questions so far? No. No questions. Okay. So we're going to move on to the other activity. Now I'm going to present. So we have a... Uh, uh, is big, right? Okay, so we have uh, a, the online English program, the session number A, the general information, the agenda for today is greeting, welcome, and general instructions, review, listening. We have a listening exercise, a tense, grammar, vocabulary, platform, relative clauses again, closing, and advices. The objectives, and we have uh, the, what are we doing today? Participants will be able to review the last session and ask some questions about last class. Participants will be able to discuss simple past, repeat some expressions and complete exercise in the platform. Giving information about a movie they have watched for people who haven't presented, right? Because I think uh, there are some people who haven't presented yet. Okay, so um, we're gonna move to the simple past. Give me a few seconds uh, to this presentation. Ahorita les comparto. Now in the simple past, we have uh, a and this powerful presentation. So we have uh, the participants will be able to express activities using irregular verbs in simple past. We have a regular and irregular verse, right? Now, uh, can you tell me three regular verbs? Let's see who. Espera, give me a second. No, muy grande. Okay. Okay, can you tell me three regular verbs? Uh, Geraldine? Swimming. Know. Okay. Swim, swimming, swim, swan. No, it's not regular verb. Los regular verbs son los que terminan en ed. Play. Played. Played. Play, played. Uh -huh. Wanted. Work. Okay, want, wanted. Jump. Excellent. Talk. Uh huh. Love. Yeah. Okay. Listen. Listen. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Geraldine. Thank you, the rest. Okay, regular verb pronunciation. We have a, as a letter D, play, play, the, the, the. We have a walk, walked, walked, walked. We have a decide, 
decided, decided, right? Decided. Pero ¿cómo vamos a saber cuándo la ed se pronuncia como una d? ¿Cuándo la ed se pronuncia como una t? ¿Cuándo la ed se pronuncia como una id? Ok, uh, so the video, we are not going to watch the video. The easiest way to recognize the pronunciation of the ed is when, pueden ver la presentación. Can you see the PowerPoint presentation? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Vea a estos verbos que tiene aquí. Look at the, those examples and tell me what, what, how do you pronounce them? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug the computer. Give me a second. Okay. I plug the computer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. The easiest way to recognize them is about the ending of the verb. The last, the last pronounced letter at the end of the verb, right? For example, want, termina en qué letra? Want. ED. Hmm? Uh, sí, ED, pero en, pre en presente, en T. Entonces, tí. todos los uh -huh. verbos terminados en T, la ED se va a pronunciar como ID. Ok, I repeat. Todos los verbos, all the verbs ending in T, todos los verbos terminados en T, la ED se pronuncia como ID. Igual todos los verbos terminados en D, y se les agrega ED, esta ED se pronuncia como ID. Por ejemplo, want, wanted. Need, needed. Podemos pronunciar la D como una R porque está entre las dos vocales E, ¿verdad? Want, wanted. Need, needed. ¿Ok? Este es este, el primero y el segundo. Si usted se aprende estos dos, este, todos los que no todos los que no sepa caen en el tercero, en la tercera columna, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos want, want it, need, need it. Ok. Um, hay algunos verbos que terminan, por ejemplo, quiero ver, quiero ver. Eh, por ejemplo, offer. No, offer termina en R. Damage. Damage termina en G. Dañar, ¿verdad? Damage. Pero como la E no se pronuncia, como la E es muda, porque no decimos damage, ¿verdad? Damage. No, decimos damage. Entonces, la última letra pronunciada es la G. Entonces, cuando el verbo termina en una E, y, pero como la E es muda, tenemos que fijarnos en la última letra, no en la E, sino que en la última letra pronunciada. Y para que este, sean de esta columna, o sean de esta columna, o sean de esta columna. Ok, en la segunda, la E de la vamos a pronunciar como... Ok, como, una, como, decir, como queriendo decir una T. Por ejemplo, tenemos todos los verbos terminados en P, en K, en F, G, H, S, H, C, H, W, S, C y X. Lo vamos a pronunciar con la E de como una, como una T. Ahí les mandé varias imágenes ahora, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, tenemos help, termina en P, help, help, help. Look, looked, look, looked. Sniff, sniffed, sniffed. Laugh, laughed, laughed. Tenemos... Ok, este es GH, ¿verdad? Ok, tenemos eh, wash, washed, washed. Watch, CH, watch, watch. Tenemos los que terminan en doble S. Kiss, kissed, kissed. Dance, danced, danced. Ok, eh, fix, fixed. Ok, entonces si usted se aprende estas letras, usted va a saber que eh, esos verbos que terminan en estas letras, le, al agregarle ED, que son verbos regulares, esa ED se va a pensar como una, o una extra T, ¿verdad? Help, helped. Ok, wash, washed. Wash, washed. En presente, wash. En pasado, washed. En, en pasado y en pasado participio, ¿verdad? Watch, en presente, en pasado y pasado participio, watch, watch. Y tenemos el resto de letras. El resto de letras, que si el verbo termina en L, en N, R, G, V, S, Z, D, or M, eh, the ED, is going to, the pronunciation is going to be as a letter D. Por ejemplo, tenemos co, cold, co, cold. No, no podemos decir colet, ¿verdad? Por eso no decimos helper, no decimos looker, no decimos... Eh, washer, no decimos watcher, no decimos dancer, ¿verdad? No decimos wanted, no decimos neither, no. Si usted lo pronuncia así, no es correcto. 
No es correcto, ¿verdad? So we have a want, wanted, need, needed, porque termina en T y D. Helped, helped, una T, porque termina en P. Wash, washed, 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 washed. Ok, watch, watch, watch. Y tenemos estas ED que se pronuncian como D. Cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, loved, used, amazed, proved, claimed, right? Tenemos que estas, eh, por ejemplo, cuando usted dice help, help, ok, eh, cuando usted dice estas que son voiceless, <coughs> ok, voiceless, cuando usted se pone aquí, eh, póngase aquí, la mano en su garganta, vamos a pronunciar help, help, ok, pronúncelo en su casa, help, help, Ahora pronuncie call, call, ¿ok? Help, help, call, call. ¿Con cuál siente que vibra? ¿Con, ¿Con cuál siente que sus cuerdas vocales vibra? ¿Con help o con call? Call. Call. ¿Ajá? ¿Con call? Ok, yes. Ajá, entonces con call, con estas, cuando son que vibran, entonces eh, son voiced. Y significa que el verbo vibra significa que va a ser la pronunciación de D. Si no vibra, entonces como usted dice, look, help, laugh, watch, watch, ¿verdad? Entonces, si no vibra, o sea, es voiceless, eh, la la, ese verbo tendría que ser con letter T. Eh, o sea, la ED se pronunciaría con, como una T. Voice sounds use the vowel chords and they produce a vibration, ¿ok? The voice, the voice sound produce a vibration or humming sound in the throat, en la garganta, ¿verdad? Ok, and that's it. Eh, básicamente, esa es la regla, ¿verdad? Si usted se aprende estos primeros y estos segundos, usted va a saber que esto es lo que todo el verbo que termina en T y en D es id, wanted, needed. Y hay más, y hay más. Ahí les mandé otros ejemplos, ¿verdad? En WhatsApp. Eh, y todos los que terminan en P, K, F, G, H. No importa si al final hay una E, la E no se toma en cuenta. Si terminan en estas letras, la ED va a ser una help, help, look, looked, 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 look, look en presente, looked. Y el resto, con solo que ya se aprende el grupo 1 y el grupo 2, el resto que no sepa van a ser siempre en D, van a ser en voiced sound. And you have to pronounce the ED as a letter D. Is clear? O I explain again. Is clear? Or it's clear? It's not clear, clear teacher. Es clear. Very good. Excellent. Ok. Por eso no, la, no se pronuncia como ED, ¿verdad? Y este volaje me trabó, creo. Okay. Me Pero en este caso, en este caso, teacher, la mejor forma de aprendernos eso es eh, escuchar y, y hablar el inglés, porque generalmente uno nunca anda esas reglas gramaticales así en la, en la mente a la hora de hablar. Yes, it's true. Fíjese que eh, no es que uno no las ande en la mente, pero, eh, por ejemplo, en, en mi caso... Este, yo sé que, ah, el verbo que termina en T y D es ED. Entonces, automáticamente yo sé eso, yo lo uso, yo uso eso. Y también al, al, pues, al estarlo usando, ¿verdad? Al estarlo usando, ¿ok? Aquí tenemos cómo agregar ED a los verbos. Por ejemplo, tenemos work, work. Pero esta es una pronunciación, esto solo es agregarle, agregándole ED. Me hubiera gustado, okay, por ejemplo, try to place the birds into the right column. Por ejemplo, tenemos cook, pero este no es no pronunciation. Ok, es this one, right? Ok, es, es que los que terminan en esta, les agregamos ed, pero los que terminan en y, les cambiamos la y por ied, ¿verdad? And so, eh, cuando terminan en eh, consonant, vowel consonant, w, w consonant at the end. Pero este creo que me voy a saltar este. Ok, so, give me a seconds. Ok, so, ok, so, we're going to continue with the class. I don't know if you have any questions so far about this. Eh, no, no questions? Vale. No, teacher. No questions, ok. Lo importante es que usted identifique en qué termina el verbo, ¿verdad? Si usted identifica en qué termina el verbo, pues entonces eh, ya ha dado el primer paso para saber cómo se pronuncia la ED. Ok, pero depende, depende... Eh, más que todo de que se aprenda la columna 1 
y la columna 2. Más que todo, eso depende. I'm looking for an information. Sorry for the noise. Ok. Yes. Give me a few seconds. Ok. Ok, aquí vamos. Uh, I'm going to share, I'm going to share rapidito porque ya va avanzando el, el tiempo. Ok, I'm going to share this. Ok, can you see it? The PDF? Yes? Yes, teacher. Ok, so work. So work. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación de uh, lo voy, I'm going to larger? Work. ¿Cómo lo pronunciamos? Work. 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 Excellent, very good. Porque termina en K, ¿verdad? En pasado, work. I work every day. I work every day. I work. I work every day. I worked yesterday. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Aquí tenemos la T y la D. ¿Qué pasa cuando tenemos una T o una D entre dos vocales? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? ¿Cómo, qué, ¿Qué sería this pronunciation? Hey. ¿As a letter? ¿Cómo una letra? What did you do? Ah, uh -huh. what do you do? Excellent, right? What do you do? This one. Uy, ¿qué es esto? What do you do, right? No sé qué dice, pero... Ok, so what do you do, right? Este es resaltar. Ajá, uh -huh. what do you do? So you can... Si usted lo pronuncia, what did you do? It's ok. Está bien si usted lo pronuncia así. Pero los americanos no dicen... Uh, uh, no dicen... No dicen what did you do. Eh, es raro el que dice... Es raro el que diga what did you do sino que ellos dicen, eh, what do you do, right? What do you Richard, do? Tengo, okay. entendido, tengo entendido que esa es la diferencia entre el inglés eh, de Estados Unidos y el inglés de, de Inglaterra, ¿no? O sea, por la cuestión de, de que quieras o no, los ingleses como que, que le dan, que eh, pronuncian cada una de las palabras en sí. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Incluso, eh. incluso, incluso hubo un episodio en Friends que eso le reclamaban a Ross, o sea, que él pronunciaba, o sea, cada una de las palabras. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, es que el, el inglés británico hay, hay sílabas, así como en San Miguel les dicen, dicen ¿cómo dice? Eh, la J, ¿qué dicen la J? Entonces, es una aspiración, una, una aspiración de, la, de la S haciendo la tipo J. Ajá, Ajá exacto. Entonces, se les oye como el invión, no el J. Ajá, entonces, ¿cómo se llama? No, es, no estoy menospreciando la pronunciación de ellos ni el dialecto de ellos. Pero estoy yeah. haciendo la comparación. Entonces, es como decir, um, el británico es algo así como eh, el propio inglés, porque ellos lo crearon. O sea, es el propio, el propio inglés, ¿verdad? Es el, pro es el inglés nativo, es el primer inglés. Entonces, ellos lo pronuncian, digamos, así como San Miguel. Y entonces está la variante de inglés americano que unen, reducen, abrevian, eh, cortan palabras, ¿verdad? Entonces... El, el, el gringo americano lo que hace es eh, pronunciarlo what did you do yesterday what did you do yesterday incluso se come palabras y es cuando no las entendemos en cambio el inglés británico dicen what did you do yesterday algo así verdad entonces se oye incluso más fuerte entonces y tiene sílabas especiales como por ejemplo en vez de brother dicen brota what the what the en vez de, en vez de water como tenemos la t entre las dos vocales que la podemos pronunciar en inglés, en inglés americano como es water y ellos dicen water, water. Yes, water. Water. Entonces, hay incluso, sílabas. Incluso se oye, como el, se oye como alemán en algunas ocasiones en inglés. Ajá. Sí, exactly. Entonces, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, for example, you have a, this one, what did you do yesterday? Um, you can say it, what did you do yesterday? And it's okay. Pero el americano lo dice, what did you do yesterday? Right? So you have a work, I work. Play, I play the piano yesterday. Played the Play, no es player, ¿verdad? No es player. Played. I played the piano yesterday. Rested yesterday. A donde se, a donde se, ¿cómo se llama? Donde se uno sabe si el, el, la persona está cometiendo un error es en estos dos. Casi siempre en estos dos. En el rested. Porque no, usted no lo va a decir rested. No lo va a decir con T. O no va a decir rested. No. Va a decir rested. Si este lo pronuncia mal, sabemos que hay algo mal ahí, ¿verdad? Que no se lo ha aprendido las reglas. Entonces, what did you do yesterday? I worked, right? I worked. Entonces, uh, I'm going to choose some people. Voy a escoger así personas al azar. Um, let's see. Milagro de la paz. What did you do yesterday? Y va a ser la número uno. 
Ahí la Ahí yo la voy a Ok, uh, Mónica Reyes. What did you do yesterday? La number one. Yesterday. Ah, ok, Milagro. Ajá. Milagro y después Mónica. Ajá. Hi, Milagro. What did you do yesterday? Entonces usted me va a responder. Yo cociné. La number one. I cooked. 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 Ok, Mónica. What, what did you do yesterday? Mónica. Monique. Number one. Yes, todas van con T, ¿verdad? Todas estas van con, con, con la E de se pronuncia con T. ¿Mm? I, I cooked. No, la dos, la número two. Ah, I washed my car. Excellent, pronunciation. Number three, eh, Juan David, the number three. Fix, what did you do yesterday? Uh, fixed, fixed, fixed. I fixed, fixed. my bicycle. Okay? My bicycle. Y en presente. I fixed. In yes, okay. yeah. Excellent, very good. Lucía Elena, what did you do yesterday? La número cuatro. I brush my teeth. Okay, okay. Brush. Repeat that for me, Lucía. Brush. 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 Okay, como si le agrega una T. Brush. 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 <laughs> Brush. Okay. Excellent, very good. Así, brush. Brush. Okay, Brush. Jose Alejandro, what do you, okay, very good, excellent, nice. Uh, Jose Alejandro, what do you do yesterday, the number five? I watched TV. Excellent, very good, nice pronunciation. Uh, Maritza El Elizabeth Rodas Cruz, what did you do yesterday, la número seis? Uh, type, type. I, I type. 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 Okay. Repítalo después de mí, en presente. Type. Type. Se oye la P explosiva, type. 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 Excellent. Very good. Uh -huh. Type in present. Type in past. Type. 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 Okay. The Geraldine, uh, the number seven. What did you do yesterday? I danced. I danced. I danced. Okay. Patricia Esmeralda, what did you do yesterday? La última, la número ocho. I bake. I bake. I bake. Ah, mire, estos dos terminan en E. Dance, pero no decimos dance, ¿verdad? Bake, pero no decimos bake. Entonces, tomamos de referencia la letra C, ¿verdad? Tomamos de referencia la letra K. Y si sabemos que terminan en esas eh, dos letras, sabemos que la pronunciación de la ED va a ser como una T. Ok, vamos a las estas de ir. Por ejemplo, tenemos shout. El pasado sería shouted, shouted. Rest, rest it. Plant, plant, plant it. Wait, wait it for the bus. Okay, uh, Kevin Josias, what did you do yesterday? La number, number 17. I, I. Okay, Kevin Josias is not available. Carlos Jose Asensio, what did you do yesterday? Wait it, wait it. Uh -huh. Shout, wait. shout it. La 17, estamos. Okay, number, number 18, Norma Elizabeth. Hi, Norma. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay, hello, Norma. Hello, rest it. Rest. I rest it, I rest it. Excellent, very good, excellent, nice. Nice pronunciation. Uh, okay, Stephanie Quintanilla, number 19. What did you do yesterday? I planted flowers. I planted flowers, right? I planted, I planted flowers. flowers. Excellent, very good. Y para la última, un voluntario, voluntaria. Volunteer for the last. I waited for the bus. I waited, waited, waited. Wait, I waited for the bus. Bus, ¿verdad? I waited sí. for the. Ajá. Tenemos en presente wait. En pasado, como tenemos una T entre dos vocales, waited, waited. Se puede pronunciar como R, waited. Ok, waited. Y las demás, las que tenemos con estas, uy, las que tenemos, se me movió el, las que tenemos eh, aquí en medio, son las que se pronuncian con ED. O sea, con una D normal, ¿verdad? con una D normal. Ok, give me a few seconds, give me a few seconds. Ok, esta que tenemos aquí. Entonces sería el pasado de clean, cleaned. El pasado de play, played, played the piano. 
Pasado de John, postesar, John. Pasado de listen, listen to music. Shave, shaved. Smile, smiled. Cry, cried. Study, study. Ok, no sé si alguien tiene alguna consulta, duda. Questions over? No, no questions. Ok, creo que ahí sí ya quedó más claro la pronunciación de la ED, ¿verdad? Ok, we're going to move to the manual. In the manual, we have on page 17, en la página 17, tenemos este listening. Ok, eh, ¿sí? ¿lo ven? Yes, you can see it. Yes, yes, yes. Ok, in the listening, uh, so, is the el lo mismo. So, listen again, check the adjectives that best describes what the people say about each one. Vamos a ver si podemos escuchar este, esta parte B. Es la misma. Esta parte B es lo mismo que tienen ustedes en su, en su manual. Okay. Bueno, esta parte es lo mismo. Fas, you have in the number one. Fascinating, silly, strange. En la number two. Wonderful, old, boring. Number three. Boring, terrific, dreadful. The number 14. Ridiculous, interesting, exciting. Right? So you have a... Usted va a escoger una de estas, o fascinating, o silly, or strange, in the number one. So you're going to listen, and you have to check the adjectives that best describes what the people say about each one. ¿verdad? So they are talking about books, or movies, or TV programs. Okay? So they are talking about movies, books, or TV programs. So in the number one, you have to choose, you have to infer... What is the correct option? In the number two, you have to infer what is the correct option two. In the number three, you have to infer the same, right? You have to choose one of the options. No, eh, es posible que en alguna no escuche exactamente la palabra, sino que usted tiene que escuchar que ellos hablan de libros, películas, or TV programs, and, and you have to infer, you have to deduce which is the additive. Is clear? Yes? Está claro? Yes. Ok, very good. Uh, déjeme buscar el audio. Lo que sí, no sé si, si se va a poder escuchar bien. Tendría que. ¿Lo escuchan? No. No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, no, I'm going to share, I'm going to share the screen. Give me a second. So I'm going to share this. Pero que si se escucha. Vamos a Ahora? No, teacher. No. No, no. sure. No. Yeah, sure. Really, really sure. ¿No se escucha? Nada. No. no. Ok, give me a few seconds. Ah, ok, vamos a ver. Lo que pasa es que sí. tiene que verificar con qué tiene configurado el micrófono, teacher, y uh -huh. al mismo tiempo configurar el, el, el sistema de audio de la computadora con ese mismo sistema. Ajá, exacto. Eh, say a system. Dice microphone. Ups, ¿qué dice? Give me a few seconds. Ah, give me a second. Ok, vamos a ver si eso era el problema. Listen. No? Nada, teacher. Nada, no se oye. Ok, sí, así es. Ok, vamos a ver este. Ok, vamos a ver this. No, teacher, nada. Nada. Nada, nada. Oye. Es el nuevo link computer audio. Vamos a ver. No les recomendaría a Teacher cambiar de reproductor porque se da demasiados problemas también. Ah, este. Ah, ese okay. tipo de reproductor da bastantes problemas. El BLC. Ese para mí está desfasado, no entiendo. Ah, no sé okay. para los demás, pero para mí. Ok. Ya no de, se usa. Déjeme ver si en the audio settings puedo. Mira. Output level. It says volume use separate audio device to play. Print to simultanea, microphone, text micro, micro, uh, yes, microphone, volume. Dice que estaba notando eh, que el button no es press, press. Means, default, ring volume. 
Ok, creo que es este. Vamos a ver ahora. Eh, ahora, veamos. No, no teacher, nada. 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 Oh nada. my gosh. I don't know what, what is the problem with the. Le aconsejo que vaya y salgo también, igual que yo, para. No, no. Ahí, que vaya y salgo también a ponerse a cuentas allá. <risa> ah, ¿y en Isalco qué hay? A ponerse a cuenta con los brujos para que, para, que, para, que, para que no le hagan ah, daño. Okay. Ah, una limpia. Ah, no la entendía. Ok, sí, fíjese que ah, pues no vamos a poder realizar este ejercicio de listening porque no, no sé por qué no se escucha, porque se tendría que escuchar. Okay. Teacher, y si lo comparte al grupo, tal vez nosotros lo podemos escuchar. Sí, claro, sure. sure. I can share it to you. Okay, give me, give me a few seconds. I'm going to start with the WhatsApp group. Vamos a ver. Si alguien lo puede, pues. Sí, José dice que lo puede reproducir para que lo escuchemos todo. Okay, perfect. Okay, give me a few seconds. Okay. Are you going to uh, oh, I'm opening the WhatsApp group? And in the WhatsApp group, I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group. Uh, Jose, is okay? Okay. Okay. Just I have uh, some problems with the audio. Give me a second. It's charging the messages, it says. So, uh, uh, Eh, todo lo que está cargando el WhatsApp. Eh, do you have any question about the midterm? Todos ya hicieron el, el, el examen de midterm. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. incluso, incluso ayer compartí ahí, gracias a Patti, o sea, por el consejo, pero la verdad sí funcionó. O sea, la cuestión de hacerlo desde el celular. Mm. Ya haciéndolo desde ahí funcionó la, la, la cuestión de lo que, lo que me daba problema. Mm, o sea, bien raro, ¿verdad? Exacto, es que es lo mismo que le compartí la vez anterior, teacher, o sea, es bien, a veces bien arbitraria la cuestión de la plataforma y, y a veces eh, llega a frustrar, ¿me entiendes? O sea, eso. Sí, 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 y eh, le, 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 le preguntaron a alguien, este, a no, alguien. No, teacher, nunca, nunca, no, o sea, ellos dicen que sí, pero a la hora de, lo, de las horas, o sea, no, no, <risa> a la hora de las horas se les olvida. Salió olvidado, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Me imagino eh, que tantos alumnos, o sea, y, uh -huh. pues sí, o sea, uno que esté molestando, o sea, no. <risa> no, it's no, it's, it's not that you're pulling our legs, it's okay. Espérenme que, eh, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Ahorita se los comparto. Por ejemplo, teacher, usted es la primera vez que está trabajando acá con, 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 este, con esta escuela, ¿no? Yes, it's the first time. Se nota. <risa> yes, yeah, sorry. Sí, tiene, tiene el entusiasmo de, de, de la primera vez del docente. O sea, tiene eso de querer ayudar en todo el estudiante. Eso es bueno, teacher. No lo voy a... Sí, así, teacher. Ah, ok. <risa> uh, no, pero siempre he sido así. <risa> ok, thank you. Thank you so much. Ok. Uh, ahorita lo estoy enviando. Ok, ok. Ahí está el audio. Ok, ya se envió. Ahí se está enviando. So, Jose, help us, please. If you have, um, you can share the audio with us. What I have to do, teacher? <laughs> todavía, todavía no ha caído, no ha caído todavía. Oh, okay, okay, it's okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know that kind, that kind of technology. <laughs> okay, it's okay. But Juan no David can do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's okay. Sí, no sé por qué no se puede escuchar, pero bueno. bueno. Voy a ver qué es lo que pasó ahí. Ajá. Después voy a, después me va a tocar revisar. Eh... Pero si gusta, Ticha, déjenlo como tarea esa y lo podemos hacer. ¿Cómo? Podemos... ¿Cómo? Ese, mismo, ese, mismo, ese mismo. Yo no. <risa> ok. <risa> Está bien. Yo no lo puedo escuchar en mi celular. Oh, really? Like, Me dice que el formato no sé, no es compatible, pues error al reproducir. Exactly, really. 
Quizás por el que ah, es lo que, que pasa, lo que pasa es que como le dije que esa aplicación, esa aplicación mm. tiene códex que ya están desfasados, entonces cuando ya se abre un archivo ahí, lo daña. Ajá, sí, lo más seguro ha de ser eso. Ajá. Sorry, sorry to hear. Eh, Pero ah, yo no... sí lo logro escuchar. Sí, yo en la computadora el del WhatsApp. Lo en el lo WhatsApp que, de mi teléfono sucede, se escucha. Lo que sucede es que entonces, compañeros, que ustedes tienen el códex que todavía no se los ha actualizado la, la, la aplicación, uh -huh. por ende lo pueden escuchar. Ah, ese ah, también okay. el tipo de reproductor que tiene. Ajá. Exacto. Ok. So, if one of you can eh, play it. Lo puede like mandar aquí al chat de Zoom. Ah, Tal el, vez. La, el, el audio. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí, yo no tengo WhatsApp en mi compu. Ok, déjeme ver cómo hago eso. <ríe> Así. <ríe> okay. quiero, ver, quiero ver si yo lo hago, teacher. Ok. Ay, mientras tanto voy a pasar la, la asistencia, porque ya se me había olvidado también. <ríe> ok, Ana y Amilet Hernández Martínez. ¿Present? Hi, Ana. Hello. No, it's not today. O oh, it's working. Veanme allí en el chat si está trabajando. Quiero ver. Eh... Eh... Let me see. Quiero ver en el chat. It's working. It's working, right, Ana? Yes, porque yes. creo que le, le dije a Sandra, Nelson, Nelson, Sandra, en Ana. Yes, it's working, right? Okay, no problem. Ya le había puesto una asistencia. <laughs> okay, so, eh, Carlos José Asensio. Hello, Carlos. Present, right? Mm -hmm. Hello, Carlos. Ajá. Ok. Uh, Stephanie Saray Martínez. No, no, I'm se, here, puede. no okay. se puede, teacher. No se puede. No se puede. Geraldina, Geraldina Lisset Villeda. Está bien, no problema. Present. Ok. Ingrid Maricela Flores. Present, teacher. Ok. Irma Adriana Segura Araujo. Present, teacher. Ok, a uh, Joana Michelle Cetino. Present. Ok, José Alejandro Baquerano. Present, right? Present, teacher. Juan David, present, right? Yeah. Carla Melissa Colocho. Here. Ok, eh, Carla Melissa Colocho. Eh, Kevin Josías, present, right? Lucía Elena Cepeda de Herrera. Present, present teacher. Ok, a uh, Margarita Abigail Tobías. Present teacher. Maritza Elizabeth Rojas Cruz. Present. Merin Daniela Carranza. Present okay. teacher. Ok, Milagro de la Paz, present, right? Mirna, Mirna Janet Landos de Luna. Mirna, Mirna Janet. Eh, no sé si is she, is she working. I, I don't remember. Quiero ver. Mirna Janet. Let's give me a few seconds. Ok. Ah, yes. Ok, present, right? Mónica Daniela Reyes. Okay. Here. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, Mónica. Eh, Nelson, present, is working. Norma Elizabeth Lizano. Present, teacher. Very good. Uh, Patricia Esmeralda García. Present. Ok, Patricia Margarita Castellanos. Present, teacher. Ronald, present, right? Teacher Nelson, present in chat. Yes, yes, yes. Sí, ya le puse la asistencia. Eh, Ronald is present, or is not present today. Present. Ok, present, very good. Teacher. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio González. Present, teacher. I am here. Ok, en Estefania Abigail Quintanilla. Teacher, I have a, an idea. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I can yeah. I can put the 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 audio on on my headset. Uh 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 huh. Okay. Sh just listen. Exercise five. Listening. Yes. I yes. can listen. Okay. Play it, please. Play it. Okay. Okay. Page eighty-eight. Exercise five. Listening. How did you like it? Part A. Listen to people talk about books, movies, and TV programs. 
Which ones do you think they would recommend? One. Number one. What do you think of Sue Grafton's books? I love those mysteries. When I started to read A is for Alibi, I couldn't put it down. I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning to finish it. Wow. Have you read any of the other books in the series? Oh, yeah. B is for Burglar. C is for Corpse. I'm already up to K is for Killer. Using the alphabet to build a mystery series is such a clever idea. I can't wait to read all 26 books. I wonder what Z will be. Two. Number two. Right. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah. It was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting. I think I'm going to start reading movie reviews online so I don't waste my money. Three. Did you see that documentary on TV last night? The one about Australia? I did. I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Four. Four. Are you reading that book, too? It seems everyone's reading it now. When did UFOs become so popular, anyway? Actually, I just finished it. What a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. I know. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Okay, we are going to listen again. Eh, me lo pausa en el número uno, please. Number one. We are going to listen again, right? Listen. Yes. Okay. How did you... Lo pongo otra vez, Echa. Yes, lo pausa en, eh, cuando termine el uno. Mm. Ah, okay, okay. 88, exercise 5, listening. How did you like it? Part A. Listen to people talk about books, movies, and TV programs. Which ones do you think they would recommend? One. What do you think of Sue Grafton's books? I love those mysteries. When I started to read A is for Alibi, I couldn't put it down. I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning to finish it. Wow. Have you read any of the other books in the series? Oh, yeah. B is for Burglar. C is for Corpse. I'm already up to K is for Killer. Using the alphabet to build a mystery series is such a clever idea. I can't wait to read all 26 books. I wonder what Z will be. Okay, stop, please. Okay, so what words did you listen in the number one? ¿Qué palabras escucharon en la número uno? Cualquier palabra que usted escuchó. She looks What did like you... fascinating. fascinating. Okay, fascinating, right? The answer is ah. fascinating, right? Uh, what is the context? What did she say? What did he ask about the book? Uh -huh. Algo que recuerde que ella haya dicho. Es una historia corta, fascinante y... Okay, it's a short story. Put it down. But in English, in English, they... <laughs> It's, the, it's, it's okay. a Charlie. It's a Charlie story, and okay. it's fascin fascinating. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's on your memory. Okay, excellent, very good, right? Uh, she was also talking about uh, the description of the characters was for letters, right? K, killer, mm -hmm. and so on, right? Okay, we're going to listen to number two. You have to choose wonderful or or boring. Number two, please. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting. I think I'm going to start reading movie reviews online so I don't waste my money. <laughs> okay, so in the number two, uh, what did you listen in the number two? Old, old. Okay. No, boring. No, boring. 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 Yes. boring. boring. Because he, uh, he doesn't like the, the, the movie that he saw. Uh -huh, yes. Yeah, yes. He, he, he didn't like. He didn't like 
He didn't movie, like the movie that he, he, he saw. So he saw, he watched. Yes. Uh -huh. He saw, he watched. Yes. He didn't like, and he thinks it's boring. Okay, now number three. Okay. Three. Please. Did you see that documentary on TV last night? The one about Australia? I did. I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Okay, thank you. Uh, stop. Uh, okay. So we have a boring, terrific, or dreadful. Terrific. Terrific. terrific, 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 right? Terrific. Remember that terrific is not terrible. Terrible is no. is, is bad. Terrific is good, right? Terrific mm -hmm. is is wonderful. Is nice, right? Okay. The answer is terrific. Now the number four, please help us. Okay. Are you reading that book too? It seems everyone's reading it now. When did UFOs become so popular anyway? Actually, I just finished it. What a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. I know. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Okay, so in the number four, what do you infer? Number one, two, three. Ridiculous. 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 It's ridiculous. Or silly, maybe. No, no, no ridiculous. ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Ok, pero <laughs> ¿será que la puede poner la número cuatro? <laughs> si no es mucho, me la está. <laughs> ok, thank you, José Alejandro. DJ. DJ Alejandro, <laughs> today, tonight. <laughs> tonight is Alejandro DJ. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> ok, that's nice, very good. <laughs> So, yes, in the number four is ridiculous. Right? It's okay. No, no problem. Take Ahorita. your time. Relax. Okay. Yes. Are you reading that book too? It seems everyone's reading it now. When did UFOs become so popular anyway? Actually, I just finished it. What a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. I know. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Okay. So, aparte de ridiculous, ¿qué más escucharon en la número, number four? What else mm -hmm. did you listen to? Silly. Okay, silly. She seeks about silly. little green creatures. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ajá. Yes, right. Yeah. About aliens. Like, oh, uh, creatures, right? Yes. Aliens, creatures. Uh -huh. In reading, he uh, it's tired, or uh, he she thinks that it's ridiculous to read about the same uh, story. It's nothing new. Uh, mm -hmm. It's nothing, nothing new, right? Exactly. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Nice. For a uh, Monday, so we are going to have uh, this homework. So a new TV show. Speaking, a new TV show. A TV studio is looking for ideas for a new TV show. Brainstorm possible ideas and agree on an idea. So, uh, can you help me to read the number, the question, the first question, please? Uh, okay. uh, Ronald, can you help me to read the questions? Las cuatro preguntas. Ronald, ¿será que, or are you busy? Yes, teacher. No, yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. I can, I can. Okay. The first question is, what kind of TV show is it? Mm -hmm. What is about? Who are the main characters? Characters. Characters. Who will it appeal to? Okay. Who will it appeal to? Uh huh. So, uh, excellent. Very good. Thank you, Ronald. So, what kind of TV show is it? Right? Is it? Esta S podemos pronunciarla como una Z. No sé por qué, pero podemos pronunciarla como una Z. Is it? Okay. Was it? Was it? Uh, what's it about? Esta T, como es el dentro de los vocales, como una R. What's it about? What's it about? Uh -huh. Who are the main characters? Toda CH como una K. Siempre como una K. Mechanic, chemistry, uh, characters, K. Characters, right? And who will it, who will it 
appeal to, right? So you are going to answer these four questions. You are going to create a TV show. O sea, que usted va a crear un TV show respondiendo esas cuatro preguntas. Por ejemplo, uh, can you help me to answer, to read these uh, sentences, Ingrid Maricela? Flores? Uh, the so read puede. again? No, no, this, the part B. Class activity, tell the class about your TV show, for example. This example. Okay. Our, Our TV, TV show. Mm -hmm. Our TV show is a detec detective story. It is about two secret uh, agents who are chasing, chasing. chasing aliens from another planet. There are two main characters. Okay, yes, this is an example, right? This is an example about a TV show, a description of the TV show, right? What are you going to answer? You are going to create a new TV show. For example, from National Geographic, similar to uh, similar something to Alien, something to Egypt, something to history, some, uh, or in history, right? Recordemos que history, historia is history. Y, y cuento story. es story. Uh, story, uh, right? Uh, story. So, uh, what you are going to answer? Uh, what kind of TV show is it? Was it about? Was it? Was it about it? Was it about? Uh, who are the main characters? And who will it appeal to? Right? Usted va a responder estas cuatro preguntas para crear un programa de televisión. Is clear? What are you going to do for Mo Monday? Or is not clear? Going to take a screenshot, teacher. Yes, of course. I'm going to send it the screenshot. Ah, okay, okay. Ahora, sí. Ya vinieron. Okay, so, uh huh. Uh, so, uh, what else? Uh, is clear? The activity for Monday? Tránsito. Is clear? Yes. Oh, no, please. Yes. Okay, I send it to the WhatsApp group. I will let it in the group of the WhatsApp. Okay, okay, so, okay. uh huh. Uh, what are we gonna do for uh, Monday? Uh, let's see. Uh, Pat Patricia Esmeralda, what are we gonna do for Monday, Patricia? Hello? For Monday, what is the homework about? Uh, the homework is about. Uh... The pay work. So uh, I created a story. Story, yes. And, and what is responder and answer? Answer. And I was the four questions. Oh. Mm -hmm. The four questions, right? Uh, ahí les mandé la captura de pantalla. Y la otra es este, la otra tarea que les voy a dejar para el lunes. Recordemos que ahora tenemos que terminar el mid, en la sección 3 y el mid para que les salga la nota, ¿verdad? Porque si the lo hace... Teacher. ¿Ah? It is the history. I, I am finished. <laughs> ok, ok, no problem. So, eh, le voy a mandar esta imagen. Eh, ahorita se las voy a mandar aquí a WhatsApp. Y de esa imagen hay unos como conectores. So you have some connectors. And in the connectors, what you have to do is to choose two of them and to make uh, two sentences. Eh, okay, en los conectores, espérame, ya se los muestro ahorita. Ya es lo último, ya, we'll finish. In one minute, so one, in two more minutes. Don't we'll problem, don't problem, teacher. Okay, okay. <laughs> so here we have uh, some connectors. So we have a however, See, here you have the meaning in Spanish. You have, however, in spite of, despite, even though, uh, on, in the, in, on the one hand, on the other hand, while, right. on the contrary, in comparison, or, either, or, neither, nor, whether, or, or else, otherwise. Here you have the meaning. For example, you're going to write an example using the two, two of those words. For example, Jane didn't want to go, didn't want to go to the theater. However, she loved the play. However, right? You see, however. This one is the meaning in Spanish. This one is the meaning in Spanish. For example, uh, neither Jane nor Sarah will help me. Ni, ni Jane ni Sarah me ayudará. O sea que usted va a crear una oración 
usando dos de estas palabras, una de la, para expresar contraste y una para dar alternativas. Okay, so you are going to write a sentence using one of these words for expressing contrast. In the other sentence, uh, you have to choose one of these uh, words for giving alternatives. Is clear what are you going to do? Yes. Okay. Solo escribir una oración, ¿verdad? Una oración con uno de estos, una oración con uno de estos. Dos okay. oraciones, ¿verdad? Okay. So, and that's it. Uh, uh, ya les envié la imagen ahí. Las dos imágenes se las envié al grupo de WhatsApp. Okay, so um, so if you don't have more questions, please uh, complete the platform exercise. Uh, mire que ya no pudimos allí puse en la agenda que íbamos a ver los ejercicios de la plataforma, pero ya, ya se acabó el tiempo. Okay, so see you on Monday. Uh, rest. You have the, the those two homework. Um, so see you on Monday. Okay. Have a, a Hi, good teacher. One. See you on Monday. Bye. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay.